So Cedar Point being such a large park, 360 some acres, we've never done a video about where all the coasters are. Yeah, and every, every time, like we're here all the time, and every time we hear someone wondering where the stuff is. Yeah. So this is your guide to where each coaster is. From Raptor to Gatekeeper. All the way back to Steel Vengeance. All right, so first, first uh, coaster you're gonna see is Raptor. You're just gonna walk right past the first Skyride uh, entrance slash, slash exit. And it's just right down the main midway to the left. You have the sign. It's, 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 liter it's literally impossible to miss. Yeah. And you'll see Johnny Rockets. You make a yeah. right. You make a right, right in front of Johnny Rockets. And you just continue straight. So right past Max Air. There's Max Air not running at all this year. Yep. And uh, Gatekeepers. Gatekeepers is right here. Gatekeepers is pretty easy to find. You got the fast lane right next to the regular lane. So that's how you get the gatekeeper if you're over here then you want to ride wicked twister usually next so the fast lane is right by the exit and it's right in this area right by tiki twirl and then by the large area right here and large grassy area the vip what they have down VIP and yeah the ferris wheel is right there in comparison Okay, so those were to the right from the midway. Gatekeeper, Wicked Twister. So this is the exit right in the front of the station. So both entrances, fast lane and regular, are both right here. Immediately to the right of Blue Street, or to the left if you're exiting, is Valerie Hill. And Valerie is right there. So fast lane and the regular line are right next to each other right here so basically what you need to know about Cedar Point is it's a straight line and then it forks off right at the second uh, sky ride entrance and where corkscrew is so you can choose left or right so right if you go to the right you'll go right under the corkscrews for corkscrew and down this way is where you'll get to top throw dragster corkscrew gemini corkscrew right across from you see the fast lane and regular line right next to each other right across from the drink stand for top thrill and then you can go off to the right and that takes you further to the back of the park. Or it's pretty noticeable. You got the Top Thrill Dragster sign and this little cubby area off to the left where they have both entrances right next to each other. Pretty easy once you're right here. So continuing past Top Thrill Dragster, you're gonna go right by the giant top hat of Top Thrill Dragster. Can't miss it. Restrooms to the right and just past the restrooms is the Magnum XL 200 entrance. 
So we'll show you the regular entrance and that the fast lane is different, right? Yes. So as soon as you pass by the restrooms, right by the top girl, top hat, like we said, you have the regular entrance to Millennium. It's along the main, it's along the main drag here. So if you're walking from the front to the back on the right side of the peninsula, you can't miss it. Alright, so just walking past the back peak queue. Fast lane right over there where those people are uh, walking into. So you're kind of heading towards like the brake run where you go under the brake run of Magnum. And then the fast lane is right off to your right. Or if you're coming in the resort entrance, it's it's exactly to your left. So then if you just walk, keep walking down uh, the midway, past track through Top Hat, you'll get Gemini to the right, that's more up ahead. And then you have Pipe Scream, right here. Now, Pipe Scream is not a coaster, but Cedar Point has a list Cedar Point listed as a coaster. Even though it's not. Yeah, as soon as you pass by it, it's it's in an obvious location. Some of the entrances aren't in an obvious location. Right by the sign, and they have the fast lane right next to the regular line. Once you pass Pipe Scream, the next coaster you come to is right here, this old aero racer called Gemini. And it's another one that's just along the main part of the midway. And if you're looking for the two kitty coasters, they're right there. Camp Snoopy. They're in Camp Snoopy. Right so we won't, we won't bother showing in there, but it's in Camp Snoopy, can't miss it. So you see the slingshot and right before that is the station and entrance for Gemini. You have the main entrance right there. And the fast lane entrance is right here. And there's the fast lane. So they're right next to each other pretty much, just separated by some, some shrubbery. Past the Gemini. You pass train tracks, and then you come up to another little fork where you can go left or right. So, probably the next coaster is to the left, and that would be Cedar Creek Mine Ride. So, Cedar Creek Mine Ride, just if you make that left at the little fork, it's right here. And it looks like, oh, it looks like there's... Not much of a wait today, but whatever. So that's the entrance. And if you're wondering about fast lane for this, there, there is, is no fast lane. lane. And if you made a right or kind of stayed straight at the fork, you will go to the two best rides on the park. Steel Bend, you said Maverick! Uh, so Maverick will be on your left up here. The regular, now Maverick is one of those rides where their fast lane is not exactly right by their regular entrance. So we'll show you. So here's the main entrance for Maverick. So you're walking up and you see the Maverick sign right there. And just off to the left, you have the main entrance. If you want fast lane if you want the fast lane entrance they do they do have a little sign and you walk just kind of around a bend there's not really there's not really many places you can go from here it's kind of a straight line so just coming up a little bit and you have the fast lane entrance from Maverick. and here's the fast lane entrance so now for steel vengeance you just have to keep it right uh, instead Maverick instead of making that left at the Maverick sign that has basically like an arrow pointing to Maverick. You just keep right and you go past some buildings over here and you'll see a big nice crowd of people. And you'll see the greatness of the steel vengeance right there. Once you round this bend, you cross the tracks and you get to
steel vengeance. Lockers are to the right, and if you have anything larger than a phone or wallet or keys, you need to use those. And here you have fast lane and regular line for steel vengeance. And that's the only thing back here behind, behind these train tracks. At the Skyride station, the second one, instead of turning right at the fork where you go under corkscrew, if you go left, this is where Iron Dragon, Millennium, and Rougarou are. So almost impossible to miss Iron Dragon entrance. Right up here past the main stage, right by Lake Erie Railroad, right across from the bleachers that are currently set up. So that's the station, that's the entrance. There is no fast lane for Iron Dragon. Iron Dragon and, as we said earlier, Mine Ride are the two that do not have fast lanes. They're the two posters. They make it pretty easy to find Rougarou. They got the big sign for Rougarou and you keep straight by the train tracks and you'll run, you'll dead end right into the, the uh, entrance and the fast lane, which is right next to it. Or if you make a left over the tracks, as you just saw, you have Millennium, fast lane to the right, regular, regular to the left. And that is right by the climbing challenge, the little basketball, the lockers, and that really is it. If you continue straight down this path, you reach the area that we already showed where there was uh, like either Mine Ride or Maverick because you just go in like a big circle. Like, like we said, it's a, it's a straight line peninsula with either side, like a lake in the middle with the island and so that is about it so if you found this video useful go ahead and drop a like and subscribe and we will see you next video